It's no secret that I love gorgeous things, anything to make the home even more beautiful, whether it be sculptures or ornaments or painting. But you know what's even better? It's meeting the people behind them, the creators. And the one we're about to meet, well, she is one of the best. This skateboarding loving young lady is Elise Cameron Smith, a very talented artist from Gerringong on the south coast of New South Wales. Thanks so much for coming. What's not to love about this place? I love the South Coast. Thanks know, for having me. me. Oh, it's a pleasure. Oh, I've been following you for years. I want to oh. share with everyone what a magnificent craftswoman you are. Oh, so you're a woodworker, you. you build miniature boats, you do yeah. sculpture. Now, I know you have a studio down here and I'd love to share it with everyone. Would you show us? I'd love to. Teach you everything I know. Brilliant. Do you want to go for a roll? No, I don't want to go for a roll. <laughs> Maybe at the end of the day. Well, people who know me know that I can crochet, but I can't skateboard. <laughs> And welcome, this is where we work. I can smell the wood, it's so beautiful. Yeah, it's such a good space and I work with a really nice crew of people. We all share the space here. Did you always want to do this? No, I think it was all pretty random. Um, yeah, when I look back on it, I'm like, oh, what? I don't know if I even understand it, but I, saw, I studied design and I knew I really liked doing practical things. And then I found the woodworking school in Mittagong, Sturt, and I just kind of went, no, oh, that's what I'm going to do. Is it the wood that you love or is it the objects that you create from them? Um, I think wood's an amazing material and it's really slow to work with. So you've got to be quite considered. You've really got to chip away at things slowly. And this is my little boat building nook. I love it. It's so exciting. <laughs> Look at this. It's lots of fun. I love your boats, Elise. They're so pretty. Thank you. Ooh, What's the timber? One? It's white beach. It's really nice and easy to carve, so nice to work with, and I love the colour. And I just leave it all raw. Tell me, why boats? Boats are fun. I mean, I've grown up on boats with my dad and just had so much fun times, fun trips, fishing, and always coming up with new ideas. So this is a newer version, like a more simple one. And then I have the fishing boat. He's cool, isn't which he? Which is a new one. I love that. I love that you've got this metal in here Yeah, as well. the bow rail and then the rods trolling off is the back. Is this copper? Yeah. It's gorgeous. I love it. It's got that subtle colour. So do you have to have, like, an amazing amount of tools to do stuff like this? I think, obviously, the more stuff you have can help, but I think you've really just got to start with what you've got. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, sometimes you never do start. So something like a spoon you can make with one chisel mm -hmm. and it's just chipping away at it slowly. Do you have you a nice little it. chisel kit? Can I, I see do, your kit? definitely. Let's have a look. So this is all of my carving chisels. Wow, look at that. Gosh, they're sharp. Do you do all of your Yeah, you've got to keep them sharp. Ooh, it's like a blade. It's great. <laughs> I would love to make something. Would you share something with me? Can, can we do something, something little? Make a boat. A boat? I'd love to make a boat. Yeah, yeah. Be fun. Okay, so what do we need? Okay, we're in the engine room, right? Yeah, so this is the bandsaw and we're going to cut a curve for the boat. So normally I'll nest them all together and I'll get five boats out of this bit of wood. Oh, that's thrifty. Yeah, you got to learn to be thrifty. Yeah, no waste. I like that. Yeah. Okay, well, gear up, shall we're we? We're going to cut this, so we'll put our safety gear on. Amazing. Amazing. Step one. I love it already. <laughs> Next process, we'll start shaping and put it all together. The shaping is done using a belt sander and it's incredible to see Elisa's vision coming together. How that curved timber can become a boat. So this is sort of the fun part. Mm -hmm. This is the part that I really look forward to, which is wrapping raffia around the it's, wings. It's a lovely tactile thing to work yeah, with. Yeah, it? it's, it's such beautiful. a beautiful material. And you can get a really good finish by wrapping it really tightly. 
So tell me about how you sell your work. I mean, it's always hard as an artist, isn't it, to actually make the money out yeah, of it? Yeah, well, ma yeah, making the work is the easy part. Trying to get someone to buy it is the challenging part. Um, so I mainly sell online into a few shops and galleries and stuff when they come up. Mm -hmm. And they go, you know, all over the world. Every sailing boat needs a sail and Elise uses leather for hers. I can see why it's important now to have the mast glued in because then you can yeah, kind of guesstimate your measurements. You can work out where it's going to go and you also get the, the height that you're working with and the shape so you can kind of look at the negative space you're going to fill up. Mm -hmm. And with the brass rod, do you drill that as well? Yeah, so it's wow. got two little holes for the... That's really detailed. Where, there you go. And then we drill some holes in here and put it all in place. And then when you're at this point, you can really play around with where you want the sail to go. This is where the woodworker becomes the artist, the crowning glory. Yes. So, party flags. I think we'll make this a party boat. It has to be a party boat. Yeah. It's a happy boat. Right. So, all my leather scraps, I cut up into little that triangles. Nice. Gosh. And make little flags. You are patient, I have to say. That would take a while to do. <laughs> and you've just glued them on. Yeah. Beautiful. So, it's all just a very simple process. And that's it. All done. It's just, that is extraordinary. See, I told you Elise was an inspiration. You're such a clever young woman. Oh, thank, thank you. you. God, you're beautiful. But I think there was one more thing I was going to teach you. I'm just kind of hoping you've got me. <laughs> Are you ready? Not really. No. <laughs> going to be great. No, I'm just indulging you and the rest of Australia in my pathetic <laughs> skateboarding You're going to be awesome. Okay, oh yeah, hold ready? my hand. That's good. Let's okay, go. woo! Woohoo! <laughs> I think I'll stick to uh, crochet. <laughs> <laughs> You're skating! Okay, that's enough. <laughs>